Now in today's video, we're talking about power options for your iPhone, for your Android phone, for your iPad, for your Samsung tablet, any device that requires power, guess what? This guy right here, ultra portable and ultra powerful. We're talking about the Shark Geek 140. And this is a 20,000 milliamp hour battery that's 72 watt hours that's gonna power all of your electronics, right? And one of the things that was there just a second ago, we'll press it again, is it has a digital display that's gonna tell you everything about the actual battery, the power consumption, it's gonna tell you about how much battery is being left, all great stats for you to understand how much battery you have left and how you can charge your devices. Uh, this is also airline safe. You're looking to travel and you want a decent sized battery, this is gonna get you there. So let's go ahead and check out the Shargeek 140. We'll check out the specs and we'll see it in action. Now, the Shark Geek 140 has a 20,000 milliamp hour battery with 72 watts, right? So lots of capacity with a max output of 140 watts. It is using top of the line batteries. We're talking about Samsung 21700 batteries. It is airline safe, which is really important for me and I'm sure for those of you who travel a lot, you wanna be able to take a battery with you and not have to worry about it not passing, you know, as you're going through the security checkpoints. It has two device, fast charging, and 65 watt input. So it charges very fast. USB-C PD 3.0 with 100 watt output, USB-A with 40 watt output, because it has two ports. And to give you a sense, because those are kind of interesting and complicated specs for many people, uh, this is what you got to know. iPhone 15 Pro, you're going to be able to charge it four times. MacBook Pro, you can charge it once. An iPad Pro, you can charge it two times. And the cool thing about this, just to name a couple examples of charging capacity, you don't really have to worry about overcharging. You don't have to worry about overcurrent, overloading, short circuits, under voltage, all these things that could go wrong when you're plugging in your devices because the battery takes care of that. I've literally taken a charger, plugged it in the wall, and see it short because it didn't have all these features. So let's go ahead and check it out. We'll see why you'll consider this and why this is such a great option for someone who's looking for additional power. Now in the box, things are pretty simple. You're gonna receive a USB-C to USB-C cable, right? And it's a very thick cable. I really like the construction of this. I've had uh, Shark Geek products before and they're just pretty stupendous, the cables themselves and the batteries. Now this one's a little bit smaller than the previous battery that I have, but I'm gonna go ahead and power it up so that you can see this thing light up. So the display here is gonna be uh, telling you a lot of information. It get, may get a little bit blown out because it is um, somewhat brighter, but uh, it's gonna tell you battery percentage, watts out. It's gonna tell you, again, how much time. It's gonna give you a lot of information about what's going on. I like the display because the display is really easy to read and it has great brightness. Now the display is super bright and very easy to uh, understand. And I'm gonna go ahead and put it right here because it's gonna be really easy for you to see the kind of detail that we're getting there. So you can see how clear the information is, right? You see your power levels, you also see your output, your, again, if you're charging, there would be input there and then the time. So there is a lot of details here. And as we take a look at this robot, and let's just make sure we're, we're focused here. Uh, a couple things are going on, or not the robot. As we take a look at the battery and we see what's going on here, you'll notice that Super thin, right? Uh, you can uh, see that the you know the battery compartment area and then your display area here and everything that's going on. But really, everything that you are going to be focused on is happening right here at the very top. Very simple. You can charge two batteries or two devices at the same time. You have your USB-C and your USB-A, and then you just have your power button to power up the display. Um, that's all there is to it. Now, the Shark Geek is gonna be able to charge multiple devices at the same time, two devices at the same time, and a variety of devices. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the cable, and I'm gonna plug it into my Google Pixel 8a, and as soon as I plug this in, it's gonna automatically turn on, it does turn on, and then it basically is doing fast charging immediately, right? So it does fast charging, which is really neat. If I were to plug in, and I'm gonna pull out my Samsung, uh, and this is my S24 Ultra, and what I'm looking for is the teal, circle that pops up. We'll see if it pops up. There it goes. And that teal means that it's doing fast or super fast charging. So you're going to get super fast charging because of the type of output that you can get from this, uh, the, this actually battery. I'm going to switch this out and then I'm going to go ahead and this is an iPad Pro 12.9 or actually the 13 inch, right? Because that's what the new ones are. And I have my USB-C on this side and I'm going to go ahead and plug it in. And I should see the same thing. Fast charging uh, should pop up. I'm gonna go ahead and look at this. So right now, as soon as I plugged it in, 
It's telling me how much uh, wattage is consuming. It says 10.6 watts. And the amount of watts that are being consumed is going to be driven purely by the device that you're plugging in. So for example, right now it's hovering between 10.5, 11.5. And if I, and it's basically has my time remaining is around three hours, right? So a uh, battery life. So I'm going to go ahead and unplug this and I'm going to put back the Google Pixel 8a. And then when I look and see what the reading is, the reading right there, as soon as it starts charging, ah, you know what? I plugged in the wrong cable. I'm going to go ahead and plug this back right here. And then grab this guy, and we're going to plug in the Pixel. I want to see how much is being charged. And then right here, the Pixel is drawing 17.1. It went from 11 to 17.1, so it's going to draw as much as it needs. And if I were to put in, for example, the Samsung S24, which is the hungriest, it has only 30% battery, I should see a pretty decent draw here. Uh, so it's now charging, and I saw 8.2 out of the get-go, 15.7, 24.8, 26.6, and it looks like it's saying 26, 26, uh, 25, 26, so 26 watts is being pulled. But again, I wanted to show you that depending on the device and depending on the, the power demand coming from the device, the Shargeek is going to adjust itself. So it's not about the Shargeek pushing out. It's what the devices are pulling in. So guys, that wraps up our review. See you in the next video.